Hi y'all, welcome to my video. I'm sorry, my intro suck because I don't have like that saying that everybody always have. Like I just start my videos however or whatever be on my mind. But if y'all are new to my channel, thank y'all for like clicking on this video and seeing what the what the tea is because without y'all, I don't know who the fuck I would be even talk to. But yeah, um, if you're new. If you not, <laughs> now let me stop playing. Welcome to my channel. It's Cece, and I think I'm going to change my name. I don't know. Like I said, I was thinking about putting a, a whole other video out that wasn't this or wasn't like I the normal stuff I put out all the time. It was definitely going to be one of them videos where if you fuck with me now, it will really make you fuck with me more. And if you don't even know me, you'll know me. Like, for real. Like, it's just one of them videos. Like, I'm putting a lot of thought into it. So, I can't wait till that drops. But when that does drop, yeah, just tune in. But, you know. um, In the meantime, come on. Like, I'm doing a mukbang. Like, this is my first mukbang. My first mukbang of the year is 2023. That sounds so crazy to say. Like, 2023? That sounds, uh, that sounds like super futuristic for real to me. But yeah, um, you know, like, comment, subscribe. I um, I asked my IG some questions and topics, uh, for this mukbang, cause like I said, I was trying to like you know, at least make it entertaining. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I have chicken. It's literally called chicken, but it's not like it's not spelled like chicken. It's C H I K N. And I got a chicken sandwich, um, mild flavor, heat, mild heat, and I got some mac. Can't see that. Doesn't it look amazing? Yes. But yeah, I got mac. Um, I got fries. Hmm. I'm gonna show y'all my chicken sandwich. They got these fries all over my chicken. My chicken sandwich. So give me a second. I need a plate. Oh, y'all can't get it out. It's like berry. Uh, y'all love food so much. Look. Oh my goodness. Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. But, um, yeah, so wait, let me get a plate really quick because I don't want to keep putting this back in here. Hold on, let me get a napkin. How was I going to eat my Mac if I didn't have an, if I didn't come home and get a fork? But, yeah, so what's been going on? Like, what's tea? <laughs> I'm talking as if y'all are here, but really, y'all can be. We can have a little lunch date. We can have a little lunch date. I know a lot of people don't like coleslaw. It's like a, it's a real like unique taste to me, you know? Like not everybody's coleslaw is good. Your mac and cheese is good. I recommend. And I don't like everybody's mac and cheese, but when that's tell y'all, hit her. Okay, so wait, let me let me get myself together first, <laughs> and we could talk. Wait, wait, let me get myself together. Let me get my food in front of me and right. I'm not taking these fries all the way out. I don't want to feel like it. But hold on, y'all. Wait, what else do I need? I think that's it. Yeah, I think that was it. Okay. Sorry, I'm all over the place. Okay, so um I like I said, at um at at uh X at my IG, you know, basically to give me some questions or topics to talk about. 
And yeah, we're just gonna start it off like that until I get into like actually doing mukbangs, actually having something to talk about because normally I don't. But <laughs> okay, so one of the questions were um, the biggest red flags in a guy. So I'm not I'm not understanding if they're asking me like what would my biggest red flags be in a guy or like in general, but. Let's just talk generally speaking. Like, I don't want to just talk about one specific person or, like, whatever. But I think a red flag in a guy, my biggest thing about a guy, like, if their biggest red flag was, and, I like, I could not just, like, ignore it, would have to be, like, communication. Like, for sure. I just feel like with communication, it, it you know what I'm saying? Like, you either... Even if you y'all don't see eye to eye, or or maybe like you you just disagree to agree. Like I just feel like communication is one of them things where that's big, and I feel like you should have it, especially at this big age. I feel like everybody should have it, not just in a relationship or a guy or a female. I just feel like everybody should have it. Like without communication, I'm confused on how the world would revolve, but. Yeah, that's just me. I just feel like that's one of the biggest things for me. Because I could, we could just be kicking it. Like, we don't have to be in a relationship. And it's just like, we could have a conversation or we could be talking about something. Or we could have a miscommunication. And I would even still, hopefully, come together and have a conversation about whatever we had a mis miscommunication about. And then let it go. But, like, some people really don't have communication. And I just think that's one of the biggest things for me. Like, I, I just feel like communication. Um, And honestly, like, there's a lot of red flags. There's a lot of red flags, honestly. Like, I just, I don't know. I guess that would be it for me. Communication, for sure. Like, if you, if you can't communicate, I can't talk to you. Like, because I, it's already, I already... Like, get attitudes, I already be angry, like, and I don't want to have to deal with somebody who don't know how to really, like, talk. Because if you know how to talk to me, and my mouth is already flat, I don't, I don't, I don't see us, I don't see us meeting here with it. I just see it going left and staying left, like, truly, honestly. But yeah, um, the house sauce fire i told them to put it on it and on the side but they don't listen um and i'm gonna put this mac on there don't judge me this is really fire like i really if y'all haven't been here before i put y'all on like that's just it that's it and that's all i put y'all on and don't judge me it's really good don't knock it too try it okay next question that's the only one I can think of right now, like, is communication, because that's just the biggest one to me. But, yeah. Um, the next one, they said, how do I feel about clothing? I'm guessing fashion. I'm guessing just that period. Um, no, like, that's kind of broad. I just feel like when it comes to fashion, you could be your own person, like, a lot of people, they go off of just the trends and, like, what's, like, popular right now. You know what I mean? Like, some people could say Ricks. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people wasn't on Ricks, and then just now a lot of people have Ricks. A lot of people want Ricks. A lot of people, you know what I'm saying, want to wear Ricks. Or either it's, like, a love-hate. It's, like, people like Ricks or people don't like Ricks. So, like, I don't know. I just feel like with fashion and, like, it's all about identity, I feel like. It's all about what you feel good in. Like, what you want to wear, what you feel good in. Like, you don't always have to follow a trend. Like, like me. Like, I like certain things that maybe most people have. Or, in another sense, like, I have things that most people don't. So, it's really all about what you like, what you want, what you comfortable in. You know what I'm saying? Like, fashion is just one of them things where it's... Uh, like, people can be creative and be creatives, like, you know, with the, the, um, 
the you know with fashion or whatever but like i just feel like ultimately wear what you want to wear like it don't matter like it really truly don't it don't matter i'm talking too much and i guess with mukbangs this is what you do but like i'm sorry i have to, I, I can't i have to i have to Y'all, I don't be understanding why every time, every time I go to chicken, it's never, it's never, it's never me being disappointed. Like, never. But, yeah, like, I just feel like with fashion, it's more of an identity type thing, like, I feel like that's truly where your identity should come in, come to play, come into play at. I feel like ultimately, like you could wear something the same as somebody else, but they won't wear it the same as you. You know what I'm saying? So like, I feel like that's where the originality comes in at, come into play at, and you could just be yourself. Like honestly, I don't know. I like what I like, but if it just happens to be something that everybody has. Like, oh well. I'm still going to wear my shit. I'm still going to put that shit on. I'm still going to do whatever. Like, ultimately, it doesn't mean that you're like everybody else. That doesn't mean that. It just means put that shit on how you want to put it on and not how the next person put it on. Like, I don't know. I just feel like a lot of things is just... It's all about your preference. It's all about your point of view. It's all about what you want to do. And I've always been a person that I'm always on my own, always doing what I want to do. Regardless of if this person doing it or this person doing it. So, I mean, teach his own. Like, I can never be a critic of somebody or, or what they wear. Now, food critic? <laughs> That's the job for me. Food critic? What? I'll be in on people restaurants, eating all their food, tell them this is not it. <laughs> Y'all. I'm not over exaggerating. Like Yes, I ate grand from my fries. Like, I don't know how many people I was eating around, and they're like, "No, you're not eating ranch and fries." I sure am. Like, I sure am. Like, I don't, I don't. What else do you eat your fries with besides ketchup? I'll dip. I'll like. I'm a dipper. Like, I'll dip my fries in whatever. Like, I'm dipping it in this too. But I just feel like, what else do you dip fries in? Like, I was dipping in some barbecue sauce or whatever. But I'm saying, like, my first thing, I want ranch. I'm going to dip my fries on some ranch. And that's it. And then I'll dip it in whatever else. But... I'm dipping my fries in, my, in some ranch for sure, but yeah, um, if y'all haven't been watching that crazy in love, tune in because honestly, I'm gonna be real. Like I don't even, I don't even really be like too into like celebrity stuff. Because I got my own issues and problems. Like, I really do. But I just feel like with that, because I do watch the show. And, like, I feel like Krishan is one of them people where she was easily influenced. And, like, she never got taught the right way. So, like, a lot of things come off as 
at, like everybody immature because you don't know no better you know what i'm saying like you obviously got to learn everybody learns like when they get older and krishan is young like she got a lot ahead of her you know what i'm saying so like i can never judge nobody off of what they're into or what what they choose to go through like i can never but like to speak on it like you could tell her family had a lot to do with how she acts and how she portrays herself like deep I'm not even going to say deep down, excuse me. I'm not even going to say deep down. I'm going to basically say, like, you can see that Krishan wants to be, like, I'm not going to say a good girl. Like, I'm not even going to say that. I'm just going to say, like, you can see that she has good in her to where it's, like, she's not ma malicious or a, a, a devious type of person. Like, you could just tell, like, she's young. Like, she has a lot. Like, I'm pretty sure she went through a lot. I'm pretty sure, you know what I'm saying, like. A lot of things probably trigger her, you know what I'm saying? But seeing her family and how her family acts, bro, she got that shit from her family. Her family, they don't even they don't even take accountability for what the fuck be going on. Like they just do shit and then just expect shit to just go away or whatever. So like I really feel like with her, maybe her and Blueface is not a um, is not a match. Maybe they're not. You know what I'm saying? Like you go through trials and tribulations, you go through things that you're supposed to go through to help you grow. So like I just feel like Honestly, like she'll learn. She's you she'll she'll learn. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like the only thing with me, like, is I know just being in a public eye, nothing ever goes away. Ever. Like, and that for me, I feel like would be the biggest thing with her. If she ever was to, you know what I'm saying, like come out of it, mature, you know what I'm saying, get herself together. Seeing and replaying all the things that happened and she did is probably going to be one of them things where she's like, damn, like, you know what I mean? That's like a reoccurring, literally a wound that never closes because, or never heals because it's, you know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's in the universe. It's in the world. You know what I'm saying? So, Poppy! Sorry, y'all. I'm a dog. But, yeah. I don't know. I just be thinking about certain stuff and certain things, you know what I'm saying? Like, and with her, like, you can tell in different podcasts and stuff, like, she's just, like, probably was forever, like, I don't know, like, just wasn't hurt. So it's like, that's how her, that's her first instinct is to be loud. And, you know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. But the show, Besides all that, <laughs> I be laughing. <laughs> Y'all. Yeah. And then I was so hungry. So, like... I gotta remind myself this is a mukbang and I gotta talk. Cause this whole video will be y'all looking at me while I'm looking at y'all and eating. Because when some food's good, I don't even wanna talk. <laughs> I don't even wanna, I don't even wanna worry about nothing else but my food. And, um, They just had um, them on the news too. Christian and Blue I'm just being so extra as always. But I just feel like at this point in her life, it's going to be hard to break that. Like, it really is. Um, I'm going to go to the next question or topic. A lot of these questions, y'all, I'm not going to lie to y'all, is literally just, like, questions if I was on, like, a question and answer Q&A. Like, it's literally, like, nothing to where it's, like, I'm going to sit here and answer these questions and then say it on here. You know what I mean? Like, somebody, it say, should you, you should get a tattoo. 
My last vlog was me getting a tattoo. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, I don't get it. But yeah. Um I've been watching um what was it called? On Netflix. I finally got my Netflix back, y'all. Cause I would not I wouldn't one thing about it, I won't pay Netflix if they don't got no new shit on there. Like, I don't know. That's one of the things where I hate. Like that gets on my nerves. Paying for something and it keep being the same. I don't I don't like that. But yeah, um, it's called I'm trying to find it. It was a movie. It was so good. I don't, I don't know where it's at. Wait, hold on. It's called um The Inheritance. Y'all. So good. Like so fucking good. I don't I just don't get it. Like I really don't. Like I don't understand how Netflix can have like some fire movies and they'll keep pushing them out, pushing them out, pushing them out, pushing them out. And then like it'll hit like a dry like you be like I, there ain't nothing on here literally. It don't be nothing on there. And that's when I don't pay it. But no, that movie is really good. Y'all gotta go see it. Y'all gotta literally watch it and then tell me about it. Cause I be I be wanting people to talk to about stuff. Y'all you know, know y'all my friends. Y'all my only friends. <laughs> but yeah. And I also I got a new um battery and S D card, but My battery about to die. So if it die, y'all know. Y'all know the vibes. I just be feeling like this shit should never die. And if it do, I don't know. Because I bought, I got two batteries right now. And both, I think this one was the most charged one. And then I think the other one would be the one I'd be down quick. Like they, my batteries die so quick. Yeah, wait. I didn't even tell y'all. So I didn't vlog New Year's Eve because well, I was drunk, and I probably would have lost my camera if I would have vlogged. Because I was so drunk, I literally woke up the next day drunk. Like, legit couldn't even function. So, we're out. And you know, it's New Year's Eve, bro. Like, everybody's out. Everybody was having a good time. Mind you, it wasn't nothing crazy. Like, it wasn't extra fighting or people just doing extra shit. But, like, it just was, like, <laughs> so much stuff was going on to where, like, if I did have my camera, it probably would have been good content, for sure. But, it was just too much, like, I, I wouldn't have been able to, like, keep track of my camera. I know I wouldn't have. So, we're at the bar. Mind you, my friend from high school and her friends. And I was with two of my other male friends. But you know how guys be when you go out, like, I don't know, like, they're just not how fe how females is like so of course like you know what i'm saying like it's just a it's just it's weird it's not weird but it's different you know what i'm saying like you when you out with guys and you out with girls it's different so i'm talking to the to my guy friends or whatever and like you know they're talking to this guy he's drunk they're talking about sports mind you when i'm out i don't like i might if we're talking about it okay but like i don't want to talk about that like so I just let the guys had had that conversation. And I walked away. I walked to the bar where, where my high school friend was at. And mind you, I'm about to set my phone up, y'all. Like when I'm drunk, I'm a different person. Like me and and her. When I'm talking about her, I'm talking about my fucking ultra ego. Yeah, like we're just the best friends in the world. <laughs> like my anxiety goes away and. Yeah, we outside. So, like, I'm about to put my my phone up. Like, I'm about to enjoy my little time. I'm about to make some memories, you know, whatever. Y'all, tell me why the bartender throws a drink on my friend and her friends. 
mind you, I'm drunk. I'm not paying attention. I'm on my about to be on my phone until I see the drink. I'm like, y'all. And little do, like little do people know, like that's on my bucket list. I always wanted to be in a bar fight. Like I always wanted to bust a glass off the bar. <laughs> I always wanted to bust a glass off the bar, like for real, like real movie shit. Like I always wanted to do some shit like that. I don't know. Maybe I'm toxic. Like maybe something really wrong with me. But like I always, always wanted to do something like that. Like I always wanted to like have a bar fight and like. <laughs> Like real movie vibes, like really just be in there just fighting, breaking pool stay pool sticks over people. Like yeah, I'm gonna do all that. And yeah, she threw the drink, and my friend's friends was by the. I was I was just waiting for her to hop over that bar, y'all. Just let me know. Let me know. Let me know what what type of time you on. Once you jump that bar, <laughs> baby. She ain't know who, who they always with. Mind you, it's three of them, and it's one of me, but I'm off to the side. And, like, they they right here, but, like, the bartender trying to hop over. I'm like, girl, hop over. <laughs> hop over. Like, because you don't know who's here. You don't know who she with. You don't know nothing. And you throwing drinks, bitch. That shit would have got on me. I would have threw a whole fucking hard-ass shot glass, because, bitch, I hit. And then liquor be sticky as fuck. Like, don't nobody want that on them. Like, for real. No sticky ass liquor. And I ain't gonna lie, that white girl had a little arm, for real. <laughs> like, uh, that's the only thing about having this long ass hair. It really be in the way. Y'all. I'm really in love. There's no way this is just good. And I got mild this time. I usually just get the southern. And that's like a regular. Because I really be scared. Like, I do like hot stuff. But not to where it's like, like I could taste it. Like you know if that if that makes sense. Like I hate, I hate something that I can't bear to eat. Like that's too fucking hot. <laughs> like too hot. Like I'm not gonna be able to enjoy that hot. I don't know how people eat hot ass shit like that anyway. Like that's too fucking hot. Like. This one, just right. And then the Mac too. Hmm. I keep having mouthfuls every time. That's why I be stopping talking. Honestly, I don't even know if I'm gonna put this one up. I just wanted to see like how it would go. Like how it would be. Especially for it being my first time. Cause I mean, I got the footage. I mean, like I just got the SD card. And I be getting a big one. So I be having a lot of storage. Yeah, cause right, right now I think I got like 10 hours. That's not bad. So yeah, I don't know. I might, I might throw this one up, or I might just keep it in a vault. I don't know. Who knows? Um, I know for sure. I'm probably, I'm definitely gonna do another one. I wanted to do one with a friend, so like we can talk and have a conversation, and it won't be just me talking because with me, when I, like I said, when I eat, I'm, I'm really not focusing on nothing. <laughs> Like, I'm really ready to eat, and that's it, baby. I'm ready to chow down. I'm ready to chow down and leave it, and leave it at that. But, yeah, um, yeah, that was really all the questions I really got. Like, I didn't get no topics. Just the biggest the, uh, red flag. Oh, they said, do I um, meditate? 
I meditate. I need to do it more though. Like I definitely meditate. I do yoga. Um, I want to get very much more like in tune with it. Like because I feel like when you be having a breakthroughs, like I had so many breakthroughs when I was meditating. Like I feel like it just like open you up like for as just like unconsciously and consciously wakes you up like if that makes sense. And I be feeling like with meditating especially if you're like focusing on one thing or you're like focusing on something like sometimes it really do give you the clarity like you be needing it like you really be needing that like a, a more of a like a energy or like a like it's crazy like i can't even explain it like if you meditate then you know like if you don't even if even if you never did it i feel like and everybody should try meditating because it's like you never know like you never know and like when i was in high school i did yoga and i hated it because at the time it's like i don't know maybe i wasn't mature enough for real. like i i had adhd bad y'all like i certain stuff i didn't want to sit no longer you know what i mean like oh man but yeah my my camera is about to die y'all and i don't want to be talking in mid conversation and it's just that so thank y'all for watching me thank y'all for even being here thank y'all for subscribing if y'all did and if you didn't it's okay i just want to thank y'all just for everything just you know what i mean like without the subscribers and stuff the shit won't matter but yeah um that's it y'all